for our final day heading back to Reykjavik to close the loop. We started at a volcano and it was snowing and extremely windy. Um, this was just a crater from a previous uh, erupting volcano and there's another one next door to this volcano which you'll see in a little bit. When I booked the tour, we were going to see an active volcano that was going on, but I booked it a bit too far in advance and the volcano was no longer quite active anymore, so we went to a different route of the tour. There's the other volcano. Um, I'm still really grateful for this trip though because it was still perfect. I knew there would be at least one thing that wouldn't work out and it's okay that I didn't see an active volcano. There's other active volcanoes in the world constantly, so one day I will see one. Um, I had actually booked this tour a couple of months ahead and then I switched it to be in the first week of November and if I had um, done the other month it would have still been active. But I wouldn't have gotten to see the ice caves if you saw that video and that was why I chose this month because I wanted to be certain I could see the ice caves. Packing snow. As long as I can grip onto something, I'm okay with heights. <laughs> Thank you. 
can't stop. We didn't actually use the baths <laughs> or the spa or the restaurant. We were just staring at the super hot boiling water. <laughs> woman behind this guy who was nodding her head and the horse was responding. <laughs> and uh, this is a steam baked. So the bread is in this one. And uh, this one I just uh, put down here this morning. And I'm going to take this up tomorrow or the day after. This is some rye bread that was baked in that hole, and it was amazing. So I took a picture of the recipe that was hanging on the wall. So we're back in Reykjavik. I got dropped off from the tour here and did some night one because I didn't really have any time before the tour started to explore Reykjavik. This is Cafe Loki, which is very popular with tourists because it's right next to that cathedral, which you can see out the window. And you can try shark. Trying fermented shark. I look so dull because I was trying not to draw any attention to myself filming alone eating shark. This is their 
Opera House, which has a very cool architectural design that I actually pinned on Pinterest without knowing where it was. And I didn't realize until pretty soon before leaving for this trip that I would get to see this in Reykjavik. Um, it was very fancy inside, like there was some event going on, so I was not in there very long and got some blurry shots. And trying to be a little adventurous, I stayed in a hostel. shower in the morning. I stayed in the six bed female room to feel safer um, and it worked out okay. Across from the Leif Erikson or Leifer Erikson statue um, is actually a hotel Leif Erikson, so that was interesting. And this is a popular cafe that has very cool art on the outside and trendy cinnamon rolls that I did not think lived up to the hype. Mm -mm. So I had looked up stores online and this Ice Mart, some of the pictures showed a cat inside. And when I stopped by before it opened, the cat was outside waiting at the door to get in. And it was so cute. It was just, it knew it could go in eventually and it knew what time it was. And he was grumpy. Reykjavik is kind of famous for its colorful buildings and a lot of street art. So this is kind of a mod podge of some of the cool street art I saw while I was down in Reykjavik. Well, up in Reykjavik. I took a picture of this book to buy later. I went to this restaurant specifically to try something that I did not know was endangered. Um, my guide talked so much about the ethical fishing practices of Iceland that I just didn't even suspect and tried some whale. This thrift store had my college's sweatshirt on sale. So this is about it. I took these shots while I was rushing back to the bus stop to go to the airport. Um, I had everything very closely timed. <laughs> and the airport's like 45 minutes away from Reykjavik. And here's a couple of random souvenirs. I spent forever picking out this mug from a bunch of very similar mugs, and then this is a wool headband with little sheepies on it.